If you just bought a Jeep Renegade, chances are you drove it home the first night and said, I love this thing, but the lights are dim. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can triple your headlight output and maintain the tight factory beam pattern so you're not blinding oncoming traffic. So let's head to the garage and get started. The first step, popping the hood. I'm just gonna set these here for now. Modern vehicles today, normally you're pulling a bumper, you're yanking a grill at the very least, maybe you're pulling a battery or removing an air box. Uh, this thing, this thing is a welcome surprise. We've got a dust cover to remove and the bulb is accessible right behind the headlight. Nothing to it, reminds me of the good old days. Turn the bulb counterclockwise, pulls out just like that. Press down on the little tab for the wire harness and it disconnects just like so. Now, we got a combination of things we're gonna be installing today. In my right hand is the V4 bulbs. We just got done doing a massive seven inch round headlight shootout and this thing still, even though it's a little bit different than what you'd normally see on a Jeep Wrangler, this thing is still a seven inch round headlight and this was one of the top contenders for bulb replacements overall. So we're gonna be doing the V4s in it and we also need a little help from GTR lighting to get this thing to work properly. These Jeeps are pretty modern with the way that they handle their electrical circuits. They've got a CAN bus system and it actually pulses the headlight and if you just put any old headlight from Amazon or eBay in there, a $30 headlight, you're gonna get flickering, strobing, and a warning light in the dash, and you don't want any of that. This little module prevents all of that from happening. So here's a little before and after for you guys here. In my left hand is the stock H13 bulb that you're gonna find in your Jeep. And in my right hand is the V4 bulb. As you can see, this is very, very different technology. When you finally start working on this Jeep, you're gonna find that in the GTR lighting box, you've got a PWM module that looks just like this. This one's actually specifically designed for a lot of these Chrysler vehicles in mind. Uh, a lot of the Rams need them, a lot of the, the Jeep Wranglers need them, and this Renegade's no exception. Looks just like this, it's got a nice braided uh, protective sheath over the wiring so you don't have to worry about chafing. And then we've got this plug here, you can connect the two just like this. They snap together real nice, make sure that they're plugged in all the way. And this plug goes to your factory wiring. Now, one thing you need to know before you just install any LED bulb in here is when I put these bulbs in right off the bat, the chips were facing up and down like this. And if you've watched some of our other videos, you'll know that that creates a terrible beam pattern. And a lot of people will just throw them in like that. And if the bulb isn't adjustable like the V4, you're going to have a terrible beam pattern. You're going to get flashed on the highway. It's going to be awful. Supernova includes a little Allen key that allows you to take the little retaining bolt out of here and clock this thing properly so that it's in there like this and the chips are facing left to right. You need the chips facing left to right for the best possible beam pattern in this Jeep. So if you get a set of bulbs, you install them and you look in the headlight and it's facing up and down, pull it back out and clock it so that your, your bulb is facing left to right. Go ahead and connect this to your factory wiring. You'll hear it click into place, locks in real well. And the nice part about these headlights is there's actually a lot of room inside the dust cover area that'll allow you to put the PWM module and the bulb driver in the bottom of the headlight. Twist the bulb clockwise to lock it in place. And with everything tucked inside the headlight, we can take our dust cover, put it right back on, just the same way we found it. And that's really it. On all these newer vehicles, it's such a pain in the butt to do this. And on these Jeep Renegades, you can do it in literally five minutes or less. So I'm gonna run through the driver's side of this install. And I'm gonna take this thing, pull it out, head over to our studio, point it against the wall, and show you guys what this looks like compared to your stock bulbs, and see just how much of an upgrade we've got here. So we've got the Jeep Renegade pulled in the studio now, and we're taking a Lux measurement pointed against the wall at about 25 feet. Lux is your usable light output. It's what really gets you down the road as far as useful light goes. And we picked up 590 Lux. Now, the beam pattern's decent on this Jeep from the factory. It's a pretty typical seven inch round. You're gonna find this in the Wranglers as well. It's very identical. And we already know that while it is a decent beam pattern, it is not very bright. So let's slap some V4s in here and see what we can get. Now, this is an insane upgrade over stock. We went from 590 Lux to 1,890. That is 
almost four times brighter. That is an unbelievable upgrade for a five minute bulb swap. And the best part is we didn't pick up any glare above the hot spot, and that's so important. You see people complain online about glare and getting blinded by oncoming traffic, and yeah, if you install the wrong bulbs, you will absolutely have that. If you install the C4 bulbs and you clock them properly like I showed you, you're not gonna have any of that trouble. 1,890 from 590, this is well worth the money. Let's check out High Beam just for fun. So our stock high beam was 880 lux. It's a little bit better than the low beam of 590. We've got a little more flood up top, just like a high beam should. We're gonna see obstacles further down the road. Let's see what the V4 looks like when we hit the high beam switch. The V4 high beam came in at 2000 lux on the dot. Compared to 880 from stock, we're well over double. It's a beautiful crisp pattern. We've got our light output above the hot spot like we would like. We're gonna see things in the road a lot sooner. If you're looking for the best possible drop-in ball replacement for your Jeep Renegade, this is it. What an unbelievably easy upgrade. You can do this in five minutes in your garage, in your driveway at home, and instantly triple your headlight output. Now, if you want a headlight with a little bit different look, the JW Speaker headlights are an excellent option for you. I've got them installed right now in this Jeep, and if you want to see that, we got a whole video on it, how to take the thing apart, how to install them, and what they look like compared to stock. We also did the fog lights and the marker lights in that video. So if you're taking it all apart and you want to go that route, by all means, we got you covered. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We've got all kinds of Renegade videos coming out, and I'd love to show them to you.